off. Okay, so is this too much for any of you or gear it down? Oh, no. Around Bangor, Pennsylvania, Janet Haddad is known as the Bone Lady. She makes toys, jewelry, and other crafts from the bones of deer, groundhogs, turtles, and other dead animals. She, this is deer that she has on. Oh, from, dear. Yeah, oh, dear. <laughs> but she loves to work with turkey carcasses most of all. When they pull off a piece of bone, people in my family know to be very careful. When I sit down for Thanksgiving dinner, I look at so much more. Dozens of friends and family members also bring her carcasses, and they drop off other animal remains found in the woods or by the roadside. So we found three deer up there. Maybe Damn it like that. You may be a happy God. woman, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. They all go into the family freezer. Later, Mrs. Haddad boils them for hours in a cauldron filled with water, bleach, and lye. It takes hours at a full boil, hours on end, to boil down the carcass and get all the flesh off. Then they are put in trays and left in the sun to dry. Mrs. Haddad spends months scraping the bones clean and imagining what sorts of things to make with them. I see, okay, there's an eye. There, there's a face to a critter. She sells her creations at craft shows and customers make custom orders for the holidays. She's also working on making me a centerpiece. She's using, I guess, pieces of the vertebrae to make an interesting kind of topic of conversation centerpiece for my table on Thanksgiving. Some who once thought Mrs. Haddad's work was too weird are now regular customers. Yes, I didn't even believe it. Some of the other girls were wearing funky jewelry, <laughs> and I like funky yeah. jewelry, so. <laughs> for her part, Mrs. Haddad sees nothing wrong with turning the bones of dead things into art. I think I'd be most proud if people would actually make something from me after I was gone. <laughs> after I was gone. You talk to people about that and they think you must be out of your mind, but there's a beauty in the structure of creatures. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Becky Bright.